This is my central heating boiler working off waste engine oil. It's been burning for seven years now. Water leaving the boiler 71 and return is 39. So if we had a flow meter we could work out the kilowatts of heat output. <coughs> Burns 2 litres an hour and up to 18 hours a day depending on outside temperature. Heating 15 radiators in my hot water tank. The water leaves the boiler, goes through the indirect coil in the hot water tank, then through the radiators and back to the boiler. Got two solenoid feeds. One feed's controlled by the thermostat which cuts out at 65 degrees. The other feed's constant but it's also on a solenoid because the electric goes off it switches off the oil. The boiler holds 135 litres of water so if the electric goes off and the pumps go off the oil switches off it doesn't boil the boiler. I've also fitted recently a little tank to put diesel through to warm up the pot before I turn on the oil in the morning. The ash in the pot, there's plenty of room for a 20 hour burn and still burning clean. I've got a lever and a spring underneath which keeps the pot up underneath the boiler which is great for expansion and contraction due to heat. I've got glass wool and galvanised tin wrapped around the water jacket and this stops the ambient temperature in the shed rising up and the viscosity of the oil changing too much which is a big problem using waste oil heaters that which are gravity fed as space heaters because the oil just gets thinner and thinner at least I've got a constant feed here and this is run for inside that box there's a contactor so if electric goes off the solenoids stay off until I come back and re-energise the contactor for a safety. So the oil can't come back on if electric's been off for half an hour and the boilers went out. This is burning with both solenoids open. Ritz boiler from Australia. I've made slight changes. The only air that gets in is in this flat plate here now and it's a far better burn than having the holes in the around the tube. I'll get pure white ash in the morning and it just flicks out with a screwdriver out of the pot no problem. always a bit of water in the oil I receive from the garage.